Digital adoption is on the rise. A recent MasterCard study indicates that nine out of 10 consumers are using technology to manage their finances. NACHA reports that ACH volume has increased by a billion payments per year over the past seven years. What if there was an open banking solution that leverages machine learning and advanced analytics to improve the likelihood of payment success? One that works in real time in the background and helps determine the most optimal timing and rail for a given payment. Well, we've built that solution. I'm Sarah E. Gagan, and I lead product development in open banking payments for MasterCard. And I'm joined by Gus Ramirez, Director of Enterprise Sales, who will be driving the demo. Today, we'd like to talk to you about smart payment decisioning tools that use consumer permission data to mitigate ACH fraud, reduce the risk of ACH payment returns due to insufficient funds, and simplify the setup of recurring payments. We do this by gathering multiple payment credentials up front and optimizing the insights from the account into a recommendation for the best uh, initiation date and processing rail. Let's assume that uh, we're, we'll actually walk you through the one-time setup experience that a consumer will go through to set up a recurring payment. So let's go to the demo. Let's assume that it's time for Adam to make his monthly rent payment. Adam receives a text message from his property management company, RentPay. This could be utilities, telco, insurance, essentially any recurring payment. Adam is prompted to set up uh, an automatic payment in order to optimize his payment options and ensure that he has a streamlined experience and reduces the risk of payment friction through uh, payment rejections for various reasons. So Adam can see the amount that's due and he can click on add a bank account and he's brought to a connect experience and he can search for his financial institution, so he locates FinBank and clicks on it. And then he's brought to a screen where he can see that RentPay will access his account, and he's going to grant permission for them to use his banking data for his ongoing payments and to optimize the payment experience. He'll log in to his FinBank account in the FinBank mobile app, enter his username and password, and then he can see the uh, account type that's most relevant for the use case. So in this case, it's his checking account, and that can be optimized or customized by our customers. If you want to select a range of account types that best fit your use case, that's an option that you have. And our Connect app can be standalone or it can be embedded into your FinTech app or website. Once Adam has added his bank account, that process is complete, he's brought to a screen where he can see information about payment processing times and the reason behind adding multiple payment methods to provide benefit uh, to Adam and to the merchant to ensure payment success. And in the, in the background, the merchant is retrieving other insights to help mitigate risk like the name and address of the account directly from the financial institution to ensure that that's Adam's account. They're also retrieving the account and routing number uh, so that Adam doesn't have to go digging through a junk drawer looking for a checkbook. And if he's a, zen a zenial, maybe he's never seen a checkbook. Uh, so he, these details are retrieved directly from the financial institution. He doesn't need to figure out what those details are to key them into a user interface. So next, he's invited to add his debit card. Adam can uh, populate the details manually, use his digital wallet, or he can take a photo of his debit card and have the details automatically populate. Upon doing so, he's taken to a summary screen where he can see the details of his payment and go ahead and click, yeah, forward, perfect. So he can see the amount that will be processed, the payment methods that he has added. And in the background, MasterCard smart payment decisioning tools are leveraging our smart uh, payment success indicator 
which will look at cash flow insights, historical balance information, other key risk indicators to predict the likelihood of settlement success over the future 10 calendar days. Think about that a little bit like a 10-day weather forecast. And so it's looking into the future, looking ahead, not just looking at what Adam's balance is today. So Adam can see that though he's added two payment credentials, the recommendation for this payment is that they use his debit card. The reason for that is in the background, the payment success indicator has identified that Adam has enough money today, but historical indications and other risk indicators lead us to believe that in two to three days' time, he will no longer have sufficient funds to cover the largest bill many of us have to pay month after month. And so the debit card rail is selected with our payment routing optimizer. The payment routing optimizer is taking the outputs of the payment success indicator and layering onto that the, the various factors of cost of rail and optimal timing for the most likelihood of successful payment. Now, Adam's done with his uh, recurring payment setup experience, and he's able to move on with his day smoothly. By optimizing the payment experience, and addressing real world problems. We're developing the tools and technology to help you make better payments with safety and security and confidence. Thank you. Come see Gus and I in our kiosk after the sessions.